So just while I wait for the kettle to boil, I thought I would talk a little bit about what this video is going to be. Um, so I am currently interning, oh there's a fly. I am currently interning at one of the big four in Edinburgh. I've moved here for the internship and um, I just thought it would be a nice, oh I did not think this through. Okay, you will get a proper introduction once the kettle has stopped making an absolute racket. So what this video is going to be is I am just going to take a camera around with me um, and film as much as I can and tell you as much as I can about what I do on a daily basis as an intern um, just because this is the kind of video I would have liked to watch when I was doing my internship applications to get an idea of you know what kind of internship I'd want to do and also once I got the offer and I was getting ready to like come here and do my internship it would have been the kind of video I'd have wanted to watch so um, I'm gonna make it myself it's just gonna be me taking a camera around with me talking to myself like a complete weirdo and hopefully giving you a bit of insight into what you can expect from an internship if you want to know presumably you want to know I mean I guess that's why you're on this video so to start the day um, breakfast that's what I'm doing now Okay, so I dropped a bit, but it's fine, I'll pick it up later. Let me get a bit closer, I feel like I'm really far away. Um, quick position change, I moved the camera a little bit and then I thought it was gonna mess up the continuity and then I thought, you know what, I don't have time for that this morning. So I'm just gonna own it, we're here now. I should probably tell you a bit more about what I'm actually doing. So I'm interning at one of the big four, obviously, from the title of the video. I'm in risk. The team that I'm with is actually really cool. When I talk to them all about what projects they're involved in and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, it's all very different. Some of them are tech-based, some of them are more in management roles, some of them are more client-facing, so they'll have to like liaise with clients. So yeah, it's a really diverse team. That was a slight detour. What was I talking about? So the rough plan for the day is pretty standard, well, I haven't eaten any of this yet and I need to go. <laughs> so yeah, pretty standard morning. I'll probably try and book in a couple of catch-ups, which are just one-on-one -on -one talks for like 15 or minutes or half an hour, um, which are really useful for just getting more information and also for um, making contacts, which might be useful later on. So yeah, I'll probably book in some of those. So that's my morning. And the plan for the afternoon um, is actually, I'm very excited about it because there's a meeting that I've been invited to. Um, it's like a business strategy thing, which is very new to me. I don't know any, or I didn't know anything about marketing and business strategy or anything like, and stakeholders. I didn't even know what a stakeholder was before this internship. Um, yeah, I didn't know anything about any of those things before this internship, so that's why I'm here. This will just be really good opportunity I think just to learn a bit more about business strategy I guess I'm really excited for it I think it's something really different it's an opportunity that I got through the internship so a couple of things that I'm going to mention straight up that I think people might be interested in these are the questions I was asking before I started are firstly about the hours because I'm not in the London office I'm in the regions um, I think the working hours are not as bad as what I had been led to believe for the big four. I mean, it could just be that I'm not in audit. <laughs> um, I know that audit have really tough hours sometimes at busy times of the year, but um, officially they tell you it's nine till 5.30, but I had heard that the hours are a lot later than they say. But in my experience, I do usually get out around 5.30, sometimes more like 6. I think at the London office, I can't say from experience, but I think if you work in London, it's probably gonna be a more hectic environment than in the regions, and it's also probably gonna be longer hours. But again, I don't have experience in London, so this is just from what I've heard from other interns. I will try and check in as much as I can throughout the day. Um, I will not be filming at work, obviously, because that, oh, this vlog because that is not professional um 
but I'll maybe film in my lunch break or on my way to the meeting or you know I'll check in throughout the day and just take you around with me and now I'm gonna be really late so I'm off um it's not that I wear trainers at work it's just that I wear them to walk to work <laughs> just to clear that up Um, feeling like a proper businesswoman. Okay, so I'm back from my meeting, back from work. Um, I will give you a rundown of everything that I'm able to talk about. I'll just talk very generally because I can't give any specifics. And um, I need to start making dinner soon. I have just balanced the camera on the bread maker. So hopefully that doesn't fall over. Um, why do I have a bread maker in a student flat? That's a good question, I have no idea. Um, my student flat just came with a bread maker. I mean, you win some, you lose some with student flats. Um, my one at university, I have an ensuite, which I don't hear. But my one here has a bread maker, which is quite cool. And um, I do love Exeter very much. That's my university town. But I will say for Edinburgh, and like the view I have from the balcony in this flat, it's insane. So yeah, like Exeter, I love you, but Edinburgh has got the views going for it. Um, so, so I need to start cooking soon. Um, it's it's about seven thirty. So I think all I really have is pasta, and I know pasta is really easy. Sorry, the lighting's going all weird. Yeah, um, pasta is like really easy to cook, obviously, but the one I've got, it takes 10 minutes, which I know is not really a long time, but it kind of feels like a long time to me. Um, so I've just got my jar of olives. Um, just procrastinating cooking at the moment. Okay, so I'm done for the day. Um, that meeting that I just had, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the kind of thing that happens every day on an internship, um, but I got an invite to it through someone I know from the team that I'm interning on. And um, yeah, that was just really interesting just to be a part of it and experience what that's like. Um, and that's one of the reasons why networking is quite important if you're wanting to get into a job like this just because I only got that invite because I happened to know someone who was on the board for this meeting. Um, well, if you talk to people and let them know what you're interested in or what you want to work in, then you might be able to get into the kind of areas you're interested in. So yeah, that's how networking works. But um, yeah, so this afternoon I had that business strategy meeting and before that, to be honest, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, a lot of what I do as an intern is just Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoint. I think the experience that you get more than makes up for that. So yeah, it's not the most interesting stuff in the world when you're there looking at an Excel spreadsheet all morning, but um, you do get to find out a lot about how the company works. And I think that's probably the most important thing you can get from an internship is just talking to everyone who works there and finding out how they got there and what it is that they do on like a day-to-day -day basis so yeah that's that's the most valuable thing i do my ponytail so tight that i take my hair out and it's like all the stress just leaves my body oh i kind of have like a headache from my ponytail i don't know if that's normal 
maybe I need to do a less tight hair down now the evening can properly start I said that like I'm going out clubbing or something the evening of me being sat in my room on my phone listening to podcasts can start 